on Sunday, February 17th, over 300 Tampa Bay Area high school football student athletes saw the opportunity to attend the Tampa chapter of the National Football Foundation and College Hall of Fame Hillsborough County Small College Recruiting Fair located at Jefferson High School. Here's what Hillsborough County Director of Athletics, Lannis Robinson, had to say about the fair. For the kids, it's a great opportunity to uh, talk about themselves, do a sales job, so to speak, on, on their talents, both on the field as well, as well as in the classroom. And they're able to express, um, you know, to the coaches their desire to continue playing football and talk about those opportunities with the colleges that we have in attendance. We have 60 high schools represented and 45 colleges represented uh, in the fair this weekend. Uh, those 60 high schools come from Hillsboro and Pinellas and Pasco and Hernando and Citrus and uh, down to Bradenton or Manatee County. And uh, So we have schools from all over the Bay Area that come to the event uh, and it's an opportunity for the colleges to take a look at a lot of talent and for uh, the student athletes to be able to communicate in person with the college coaches uh, in a short time period. Presented with the chance to play and study at the next level, candidates had the chance to speak with prospective schools as they look to find a new place to call home. Plant fullback James Helm provides his insight. It's been a lot, you know, it's just a lot of opportunities, you know, uh, trying, to, trying to get my dream playing football. And it's, just, it's, been, it's been open. They came here with open arms. It means a lot, you know, I get to, I get to meet the coaches, get to see if I, if I like the coaches, if, if I want to go there. It just, it just means a lot, you know, I get to... Uh, to talk to the coaches, get to know them a little bit, and they get to know me also, and they, they get to see if they want me or not. You know, it's my dream since I was being a little kid. It's everybody's dream, playing, playing the big, the big light right there. So, I mean, it would mean a lot. It mean a lot for my parents and my family. They they would love it to come watch me play football in college. And it, was, it was a great experience. With the Tampa Bay talent pool so deep, those that didn't sign NLIs will now be given the chance to grow not only athletically but also academically. In any event, even for the Division One signees, the academics is the first thing. Um, you know, your GPA and your test scores, um, you know, they're more important than the jersey number you're wearing um, initially. And then ultimately, for a lot of guys that uh, do not sign Division I, um, the academics plays an even bigger role because when you come to a recruiting fair like this, um, a, lot of that, uh, a lot of the money that these guys can get from these schools uh, is all incentive-based and merit-based. Uh, so your grades, your grades, if they're improved by .25, can give you an extra $3,000 just to get to college. Most of the scholarship dollars that are available to student athletes are on the academic side. So uh, student athletes that are, are successful academically as well as uh, good football players, uh, they better their chances to be able to uh, receive some offers coming out of this recruiting fair. The fair also provided an intimate setting for player, coach, and parent as each group searches for the perfect fit. Having a one-on-one -on -one is very nice, and we've had several uh, coaches that have come to the house and had the one-on-one -on -one with my wife and I and, and my son, Zach, but here at, at uh, working with two or three kids at, at one of the schools, no matter what school it is that is here, uh, it just allows you to see the passion with these coaches, what they're looking for, their GPAs, the majors that, that, that they have for my son, which is very important for the school, and no matter if it's in Ohio, Wisconsin, Indiana, it allows my son to really see uh, firsthand what these uh, coaches really mean for not just my son but for the other kids. Beginning nearly 15 years ago with only 10 to 15 colleges in attendance, now the Small College Recruiting Fair is one of the most exciting and anticipated events for the Tampa Bay Sports Commission as well as Hillsborough County.